Good morning students. Today we are going to see about cylindrical coordinate system. The variables of cylindrical coordinate system are R, phi and Z. If a half plane, see here this half plane rotates fastly about the Z axis means it will appear as a cylinder. We get three dimensional image of a cylinder there. So, how we can represent a vector in cylindrical coordinate system? For example, a vector is equal to ar, ar vector plus a phi, a phi vector plus a z, a z vector. Here, ar vector, a phi vector, a z vector are unit vectors. For example, any vector, for example, p vector is equal to 8 ar vector minus 7 a phi vector plus 12 a z vector. Here, 8 is nothing but pr, so minus 7 is nothing but p phi, 12 is nothing but p z. Next, we are going to see about the range of these three variables. See here, R is nothing but radius of the cylinder. So, the radius might be of 1 cm, 2 cm, 3 cm up to infinity. So, the radius varies from 0 to infinity. Okay? The range of radius is 0 to infinity. And phi, phi is nothing but the half plane making a certain angle with this axis X is known as, is also known as adimuthal angle. The another name for phi is azimuthal angle. So this varies from it varies around the circle. So two phi three sixty degree. It varies from zero to two phi. Is it is nothing? It is similar to Cartesian coordinate system. It varies from minus infinity to plus infinity because this is positive is it and similar to that in the opposite direction there will be minus is it okay so these are the ranges of variables in cylindrical coordinate system and the next thing we are going to see about is differential elements what are the three differential elements there are three differential elements they are Differential length Differential surface And differential volume Differential length and differential surface, these two are vector quantities because length have some direction and surface also have some direction. So, these two are vector quantities. But volume, weight, we measure the weight in kgs, not in the direction. So, volume is a scalar quantity. We simply represent it with dv. Now, we are going to see about differential length. So, dl vector is equal to dr ar vector plus d phi a phi vector plus d z a z vector. Here in this, uh, dr is differential length in r direction. D phi is differential angle. If you want to convert that angle into differential length, you want to multiply this D phi with the radius of the cylinder R. See here, in this image, the radius R varies with respect to phi. So, D phi is simply differential angle. If you are in need of differential length, means you want to multiply this differential angle with the radius. So, R D phi now was differential length in phi direction and D is it is differential length in Z direction. Okay. Next we are going to see about differential surface. Now we are going to see about differential surface. So in differential surface there are three possibilities. In general we can write differential surface vector ds vector is equal to ds an vector. Where an vector is unit vector normal to the surface. Okay. So in cylindrical coordinate system there are three surfaces are possible ds r vector 
how we can write this ds r vector so here in subscript it is r vector unit vector is ar vector so other than r phi uh, is it here r s unit vectors cancel this remaining are phi and z so the variables are phi and z d phi d z but we know that d phi is differential angle so it does not come alone it always come along with the radius remember in your mind that d phi does not come alone it come along always it come it comes along with the radius so d s r vector is equal to r d phi d z a r vector so similar to that how can we write so similar to that how can we write d s how can we write d s phi vector so here what to put what about the unit vector a phi vector why i am taking phi vector a phi vector as unit vector because it is in the subscript so d s phi vector is equal to a phi vector so other so here r phi and z phi comes as unit vector so what about the remaining r and z so they are variables how can we write dr dz a phi vector so this surface is nothing but differential vector surface area unit vector normal to phi direction differential vector surface area normal to phi direction we can also say like that then the last vector surface area is ds z vector so ds z vector so how can we write this so z is in the subscript so it comes as unit vector a z vector so we are going to cancel the z vector r and phi are remaining so they comes as variable here i am going to cancel z why it's a unit vector it is constant so what about the variables r and phi variables means you want to note that as dr d phi so dr d phi you already know that d phi doesn't comes alone it always comes with r bring that r here that's about ds z vector differential vector surface area normal to is a direction and the last one last differential element is differential volume so volume is scalar quantity dv is equal to it is multiplication of three that is three variables dr d phi and dz because we measure volume in meter cube okay so it is multiplication of three variables one is dr and the next one is d phi and the next one is d is a three variables and d phi is differential angle it doesn't comes alone if we want to convert this differential angle to differential length we want to multiply it with r so dv is equal to r dr d phi d is it this is differential volume that's about cylindrical coordinate system and the differential elements let me give you a small recap about differential elements and also the whole about cylindrical coordinate system see here in cylindrical coordinate system the variables are r phi and z so r is radius of the cylinder phi is azimuthal angle and az is the axis of the cylinder okay so then what about the range of the variables r varies from r varies from 0 to infinity phi varies from 0 to 2 phi and z varies from minus infinity to plus infinity okay any vector we can represent in cylindrical coordinate as p vector is equal to pr ar vector plus p phi a phi vector plus p is a z vector here ar vector a phi vector a z vector or unit vectors it does not change whatever the vector may be but the unit vectors does not change see here d vector i am writing d vector is equal to dr ar vector plus d phi a phi vector plus d z a z vector so uh, what are the variables here in cylindrical coordinates r phi e z r is radius of the cylinder phi is azimuthal angle and z a half plane rotates fastly with respect to eject axis eject axis as its axis 
the half plane rotates fastly see here this is half plane this half plane is rotating very fastly about its axis with the angle of phi okay so differential elements next we are going to see about differential length we represent it with dl vector so dl vector is equal to dr r vector r d phi a phi vector plus d z a z vector see always d phi comes along with r vector because d phi is differential angle if you need differential length you want to multiply it with r okay so r d phi is nothing but differential length but d phi alone is differential angle so dr is differential length in r direction r d phi is differential length in phi direction d is a is differential length in e is a direction so come here next differential surface on the whole we represent ds vector as ds an vector an vector is nothing but unit vector normal that is perpendicular to the particular surface surface is here the unit vector is perpendicular to the surface it appears like this it pierces the sheet see here the sheet is surface and piercing the sheet with this pen means this pen is an vector and the sheet is ds differential surface okay so ds r vector is there similar to that ds ds phi vector is also there how you write and ds z vector is also there ds r vector how you write subscript is r so here i am representing unit vector as ar vector so cancel r phi and z comes as variable d phi d z but d phi does not comes alone it comes alone comes along with r so r d phi d z ar vector similar to that how you write ds phi vector you are going to cancel phi yes because phi is unit vector so what about the remaining variable